along guys today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to check the charging system on a Kohler engine um, with electric PTO the charging system on mowers with electric PTO is different than mowers that have a lever to engage the blades um, Electric, it has the little pull knob. You just pull it up about a half inch and that turns the blades on. Those have a clutch on the front of the engine that engages. So the charging system has to be stronger on those models, whether it doesn't matter if it's a Kawasaki, a Briggs, Kohler, it doesn't matter. It's, it's gonna have a better charging system on it than one that has a lever to engage the blades but um, I'm gonna show you how to check I showed you how to check the charging system on a on a Kawasaki and um, it's basically the exact same thing just the wires are in a little bit different place um, but I'll show you how to do that that way there's no confusion on which is which so let's get started all right guys i actually just fixed the charging system on this mower it didn't need any parts but what had happened if you look at the right side right here you see that rust well there's a wire right here and all that is is a ground wire it goes from right here to this shroud bolt that's up underneath the voltage regulator right here you can't see it but let me pull this connector off push it down here out of the way see where it goes now that shroud is plastic but what that screw screws into is not it's connected to the there's a plate under there which is connected to the block, which the block is grounded to the battery. But where people make their mistake on checking the ground of this, this base has to be grounded or it will not charge. But what they do is they'll take their meter and put it on this screw or on this screw. I mean, one, one lead on this screw and then one lead on this screw and it beeps. So then they think that ground is okay. But what you're actually checking is the resistance between this wire. It's connected there and there, so it's gonna show that it's connected here and here. You need to put one lead on the base of this meter, um, the voltage regulator, and then put your other lead of the meter on this bolt. And that will tell you if the base is grounded. And the only thing wrong with this one is it had lost connection between this wire and the base right here at this screw so all i had to do is take this screw loose clean this terminal clean the base right where that screw mounts and then just mount it back and then the charging system started working so um let's get a meter and we'll get to showing you how to check the charging system on it and you want to set it on AC see that says volts DC you need it on volts AC over here and it doesn't matter which AC just say we're checking around 30 to 50 volts AC so 200 is fine for that as long as this number is above what you're checking it will work so if you were checking 300 volts AC that 200 would it would just say over limit there you'd have to go to the 600 to check 300 volts but 200 volts we're only checking like around about 40 volts so 200 is plenty so you want to set that on there you got your connector loose already right here and it looks like all these wires are going up under the flywheel, I mean under the shroud, and they are. But these two white ones, this white one and this white one, 
go to your stator. And that's what you're going to check in AC. 200 AC. So you want to plug one lead. Doesn't matter which lead in which. You could do it that way or this way. It doesn't matter. Just plug that one into one side of the white wire. And then plug this one into the other side. And then you're going to start the engine at wide open throttle and get a voltage reading. It should be somewhere around 30 and 50 volts. Um, give or take a few. But we're going to start it up and then I'll show you what it reads on the meter. <laughs> So you have 43 volts AC coming out of this um, voltage regulator or stator. So you know that part's working. So now what you want to do is connect the connector back to your voltage regulator. Just like that. And then you're going to put your meter in volts DC on 20. Right there. Just like that. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to start it up. Wide open throttle. But then you're going to take one lead and put it on the center terminal. On the voltage regulator and then the other lead the black one just needs to be grounded you can ground it to the block to the battery to the base of the voltage regulator as long as it's grounded and you should get charging voltage out of that somewhere between 13 and 15 volts is your output on that so let's start it up point three volts DC going out of the voltage regulator into this purple wire now this purple wire it looks like it goes up under the shroud I mean to the stator but it doesn't it actually goes around to the front of the engine to the other side it comes out right here this is the plug wire but um, comes out right here and as you can see right here's your purple wire which goes into this connector that purple wire is going to the key switch all right guys i hope you liked that video i hope that video helps you check your charging system if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll answer them as fast as I can. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. Share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, hit the little subscribe button. It says subscribe on your bottom right of the screen there. And once you hit the subscribe button, you want to hit that little bell. And then click get all notifications. And that will notify you of later videos and let you know when I make a, a new video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.